What's going on everybody? So as most of you guys know, I got the 2020 Ram 2500 and I finally got the uh, the lift and everything set up on it. So I mean, not finally, it's been it's been on it, but um so yeah, let me go over this really quick. Uh, I got Nitto Trail Grapplers 355 40 22, which is about a 33 inch uh, and a quarter tall and then 14 inches wide and then this is on a 22 by 14 negative 90 offset. So um, as you can see, they stick out pretty wide. About half the tire. I'll show you from the back really quick. I think my truck's going into regen because it smells like plastic, but um, I got polished wheels and I don't know if this was gonna be a bad idea because it rains so much here in Washington um, that Look how I'm, I don't know if you can see, but I'm sure you can. Uh, look how nasty these are. I mean, the faces aren't as bad, but the dishes are definitely really dirty. So, um, I did put the uh, Carly three and a quarter inch lift on it. So it came with the uh, custom tuned Fox shocks, extended sway bar links, and then you got your uh, bumps, rear bump stops. Um, same thing with the front. The uh, front coil is the three and a quarter inch and then custom tuned shocks. And then yet I did have an upgrade for an adjustable track bar, which is, uh, you can't see it right now, but um, but yeah, and then extended sway bar links and all that fun stuff. So, well, yeah, the truck truck rides really good. Um, I'll show you guys the inside. The inside's stock. I mean, uh, what's really cool is uh, when you put the seats up, you, don't, you can obviously fix that, but uh, these fold down flat. And uh, you can do it all the way around. Right now, I can't lift the seat up because his seat's in there, but um, or at least the base is. Um, and then, yeah, the front. I uh, still haven't taken off the um, the covering, but uh, this is the interior of a fifth generation um, Ram 2500, and they look the same on the 3500s as well. Uh, you don't get the full panoramic roof, but you get um, a sunroof if you choose. So, uh, just keep in mind, guys, if you do the sunroof. You're gonna lose quite a bit of headspace. So, I'm only 5'10, so it makes it pretty. Uh, I mean, I'm, I sit pretty tall in it. Um, I can probably go in really quick, but yeah, I sit pretty tall. And I'm not, I wouldn't consider 5'10 tall, but, but I don't even have, like, if I'm sitting normal, I have like three inches, not three inches, but like three finger space between my head and the the top here. So, if you're like 6'2", maybe even like 6'1", or higher, you're gonna have trouble. This, look, I feel like I'm a damn semi-truck driver. I sit so high in here and you can't, I, yes, I did adjust the seats all the way down, so don't tell me to do that. But um, but yeah, other like other than that, the interior is awesome on this truck. I, I love it, plenty of room. Um, we've only had Eli in here a few times. So I just got the windows tinted, so um, that's why the sticker's on there. Uh, just a few th few things that we plan on doing. Um, my new bed liner. So uh, once all this uh, COVID-19 stuff kind of goes away um, and all these businesses open back up, I'm gonna do bed liner. Um, and then the truck does uh, pull here and there. It's a little bit loose steering, not like crazy. I can like obviously tolerate it. The wide tires don't help, but um, I'm gonna do a steering stabilizer. I just bought it from Carly as well. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to tell you guys, um, so does it rub? The answer is yes, they do rub. Um, as you can see right here, the uh, metal, or the paint off my bumper, or the paint has come off my bumper. Um, and what I wanna do is, I'm, I've already spaced it about uh, half an inch. And as you can tell, it's uh, separated a little bit here. Um, and what I'm going to do is probably have to trim like here down yeah, and I don't feel super comfortable doing that, but it's going to have to be done. Uh, and then I'll just figure out another way to keep this fender trim inside. So if you're wondering if they rubbed, I already answered yes, but only on the front. The rears haven't rubbed at all. At least not that I've noticed. Um, so that's good. I don't have to cut like legit metal. I mean, obviously the bumper's metal, but it's not, not crazy. 
Um, this kit, yes, it's expensive. It's the Carly commuter system, but it rides so nice. Um, I wanted something that, because I knew the tire and wheel setup was going to hinder the ride a little bit, but I wanted something to kind of alleviate that. So Carly rides better than stock, I would say, and I have heavy wheels and tires with uh, the sidewalls about the same, maybe a little bit smaller, I would have to measure, but I mean, obviously, I guess they're going to be a little bit smaller sidewall, but I still have probably like three and a half, four inches of sidewall, and I think that's plenty. Um, so, so yeah, um, I got the uh, front windows tinted to match the rear, and then windshield's about 50%. I know there's a lot of glare, but yeah, fronts matched, or 50%. The front is 50%, um, and then the sides are matched to the rear, I think 25, 30%. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sort of do a quick cinematic and then we'll go from there. 